Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a story of a man who discovered his wife's affair 10 years later when the pieces started coming together. And finally this is what he did. Here's the full story with three updates. When you work nights, it's easier for your spouse to cheat. Yes or no? The WW let something slip and all of the little lies became red flags and her alleged affair became apparent 10 years later. Do I let go? Should I contact a P's wife? Dear OP, you should be proud you are banging a married woman. You getting all the benefits from my WW. So, starting immediately please fill up her car with gas and check the oil. Please take her car and have the tires rotated. Please note I worked overtime to pay for her tires. I purchased lifetime rotation and balance. It won't cost you anything but you time. I am working overtime to pay our bills. WW let it slip. Her coworker has a big zero turn mower and his yard looks perfect. I wonder how does she know his yard looks perfect. So please take care of my yard like you take care of WW's bush. The neighbors will think I hired a lawn service. So when I'm working overtime and WW calls you to come over bring your mower. Please let WW use the trimmer she needs the extra vibration. When you finished with yard and you use my shower don't use all the towels. You did last week. When you and WW is finished don't eat my snacks or food for my lunch. WW is too busy with you to cook or fix supper. She don't give a crap. Before you leave put some oil dripping on the driveway where your car leaked oil on my drive. Sincerely betrayed spouse. First off, I would like to thank everyone who responded to me. I have started IC for myself and it will be a long journey. I work the 3 to 11 shift at a local plant. Once a month you will have 4 days off work in a row. I arrived home to start my long break. The living room light was on. When I opened the door, WW was standing in front of me. She said hi, I dropped my lunchbox. She picked my lunchbox and lead me my favorite spot at our bar. She had made me some cheese and crackers. My favorite snack. WW said she could not find anything else but cheese and crackers. I respond you check the pantry. We don't have a pantry. Go look in the laundry room in the corner. I built it last year while you was on a business trip. We know who does the laundry. She was stunned for a second. She went back to her game plan. She was behind my barstool rubbing my shoulders and whispered to me. You want a cheap date? Note to self I have come home to an empty house where the only thing colder than my supper was out bedroom for years. I respond to WW no thanks I'm faithful to my wife. She stepped back in shock. She said if I changed my mind to come to her room. I said not tonight. I have a headache maybe in the morning. I said I'm going to take your car and get it serviced and tire rotated. She stated it was taken care of and yard was mowed. I had just got my second clear STD panel. No way risk it. But my doctor is referring me to an oncologist. I didn't tell WW. I went to bed and WW was crying. I don't care. Well, doctor's appointment today. Hoping for good news. I helped my neighbor roof his house last year. We are buddies. He saw me at my mailbox and stopped to visit. I asked about the lawn service that mowed my yard earlier. He was taken back. I said I know it a Toyota truck. It's okay tell me what happened. You left at 2 p.m. He arrived about 4 p.m. with WW. They went inside till about 6 p.m. He backed the bad boy's mower off the trailer and gave your wife a trimmer. He mowed very fast and was his backyard. When a loud bang and clattering was coming from the mower, AP loaded the mower on the trailer. I know what he hit to damage his mower. It's my property marker. A six and steel pipe filled concrete. AP lost a blade and spindle. He spent at least $800. Was this a little passive aggressive in me? Neighbor stated they stay cussing each other. They were in each other face. I asked did AP hit WW? He said no. Neighbor gave AP's name and phone number to me and let me know he is married with three kids. This was the night WW offered the cheap date. WW thought she had lost AP. See things are never what they seem. I see gave me a term to research before next session covert narcissist. Have let AP's wife know. That's an update by itself. Hired an attorney update by itself. So behind the scenes. WW is a cigarette, coffee drinking machine. Every night I get the coffee maker filled and ready to go timer set. WW only likes 100% Colombian coffee and hates McDee's coffee. WW only smokes Virginia Slims. I set three cigs and ashtray at her chair and three fresh unopened packs with her key bob to take to work. I check the iPad on the counter for messages from Rose her sectory of 15 years for clothes to wear and adjust for meetings. The last thing is wedding ring. The pantry has a locked cabinet that holds the coffee and cigs. Never let WW out without either. Countless times, a post-it note on back door. 
Honey, please take my car and fill it with gas at 22.30 at night. I was behind the scenes at home and Rose was at work. The next update sends me down the road. I have one organization that I care about. Once a year host, a banquet is held to honor the people who made the past year a success for helping our community. When the date is set, I contact Rose she blocks off the day before, day of and the day after. Direct orders from WWSDBXW. This is annual event for me and WW would be the 20th time. WW was waiting up for me and started complaining about going. Event evening. She was ready to go a few minutes early. She was stunning, black dress, white pearl necklace. We received people as they arrived. Then one loud man said I didn't know she was your wife. The evening progressed food was served. The bar opened and dancing began. Several men asked her to dance. She declined and took me out to the dance floor. When the Eric Clapton song You Look Wonderful Tonight started, we danced slowly and she looked up and asked do you love me? My response was I will always love you. I helped her into the caddy and drove us home. Once home in the past years I would carry her to the bedroom and made sure she's comfortable to sleep it off. She said take me to bed and called me a pee. I turned left into her bedroom and laid her down. I threw a sheet over her and shut the door. I was done with all of this, so, I think the term ghosted is correct. I have mentioned previously small little apartment, new phone and number. Only attorney knows my number and work need to know only. STBXW wants reconciliation. Advise no. Attorney advise stay away from her. I will. OBS filed I don't know anything about it. I can say stay at home mom and three kids. AP going to be wishing he stayed at home and away from my WW. STBXW. Work. I will be going to day shift in July. The women have been flirting with me. I have been asked out three times. I declined all offers till finished. Guys have offered to help move me. Advised when the time comes. Supervisors willing to help schedule days for me. I feel the weight is being lifted off my shoulders. I see said it's all about me and no one else. Take care. One more thing. Please answer yes or no. And why? Is lust stronger love? Cause I don't know. Well, moved two days earlier than expected started today. I called my neighbor to check in. He said after I left, the lawn boy arrived with the mower and stayed about a week, then left has not been back. The mower stayed. The judge ordered couples MC total of 12 sessions for us. My attorney stated we would use whoever STBXW chose. STBXW wants reconciliation. Attorney mentioned she saw AP in courtroom in front of a judge. He was told to remove his sunglasses. He was sporting a nice shinner on his right eye. OBS was grinning holding on to her bandage right hand. We speculated he went back home after moving in with STBXW. It would be so easy to just go back to WW. My attorney called about a credit report she had received. It had our house loan, both cars and a recently purchased zero-turn lawnmower with trailer and a few other items for lawn care. Apparently STBXW took a loan out and gave the mower to AP. After AP moved in and out, he left the mower with STBXW. Attorney wanted to know if I wanted to keep the mower assumed the debt. I said no and started laughing uncontrollable. I told my attorney AP plowed my STBXW and breaks our new mower on my steel boundary pipe. AP moved in when I left, could only handle living with her for a week and leaves her in the mower. I'm the one that has to go to MC. OP, your wife's desire to engage in infidelity outweighed her love and attraction towards you, indicating a lack of respect for herself, you, and others. In contrast, individuals who choose not to cheat value the love and passion they have for their partners above all else. However, it's important to note that love and lust aren't the sole determining factors. Respect for oneself, the partner, and others is equally crucial. Inform the couple's counselor that you have no intention of reconciling and would prefer to focus on asset distribution during the sessions. Personally, I would suggest not even looking at your soon-to-be ex-wife. While the blows keep coming, there comes a point where they no longer affect you. I hope things align in your favor. Every day brings new evidence that she is nothing more than a disrespectful individual. Just like her affair partner, if attending counseling is necessary for the divorce process, endure a little longer, comforting yourself with the thought that you will soon be free from this nightmarish situation. Stay strong and committed to your chosen path. Your well-being is what truly matters now, so do what you believe is best for yourself. My wife and I have been struggling for the last few years. When she first started working for a new boss, even though they were remote, I could tell the relationship was too familiar and casual. We discussed it openly and I politely asked her to scale back the personal relationship to address my concerns. She acknowledged and said she would do that. 
Fast forward another six months or so and I discover that her relationship has changed. But for the worse, they were now messaging in apps where they could hide the messages, regularly deleting messages, and my wife was regularly taking sensual photos of herself. I confronted her about the deleted messages and the attempts to hide the relationship and she basically said, 1. She had not actually done anything wrong, and 2. She liked the attention because that is who she is and I have to learn to live with it. I told her she is having an emotional affair, and she denied that was true but that it was innocent flirting and that I was essentially a jealous husband and I don't like her being around any other men. I disagreed but asked her again to limit her relationship to this boss to professional only. She claimed she would work on it. A few months later, my wife and her boss had a falling out over work issues and the boss left a few months later. At the time, my wife was devastated. She tried to keep it away from me. But our kids told me that she cried for a few weeks and had been upset about her boss leaving. I acknowledged it briefly to her, but did not make a big deal out of it. After that, he reached out once right after he left and she ripped him for essentially leaving her. The two didn't talk again for six months. My wife decided to change jobs soon after and found a new job. She kept asking me if the new job was the right choice but I just told her I would support her in whatever decision she made. She took the job. Our marriage did not really improve. I couldn't put my finger on it but I was still unhappy. My wife was frustrated that I didn't just worship her. I then realized that she was making changes to fix a problem we never discussed. She thought she could skip the hard part of acknowledging her affair and just make changes like it never happened. I called her on it and asked why she was making changes. She gave a generic answer that she let work be more important than her marriage and family. When I pushed for details of what that meant, she refused to give more. This made me furious because she refused to acknowledge that she had engaged in behavior that was impacting me, and just swept it under the rug. Now that the behavior was no longer available, she was making changes but still not addressing the harm to our marriage. Where was my apology and what was it that she was apologizing for? This last fall, I came across a page of web searches for happy ending massages, sensual massages by men and sensual massages in our local area. I confronted her and she claimed that it was just a curiosity, and she never acted in anything like that. A little more research and I found she had been messaging with the local masseuses regularly. When I asked her about this, she claimed that I knew about him and she told me he was coming to our home once to give her a massage. This conversation never happened. I asked if anything sensual happened and she adamantly denied. I asked to see the text messages and she said they were casual messages about availability, but had deleted them. I know that each text thread was about 15 to 20 messages back and forth. My wife swore she would not get any more massages until I was comfortable but nothing inappropriate happened. I told her she could make her own decisions but an erotic massage was cheating in my view. About a month ago, I discovered that my wife had been messaging with new messers. This time I messaged these guys individually to see how legit they were, and it was clear they were all about the sensual encounter and not a lot of massage. I was furious. I asked my wife about these people and she admitted that she had messaged them out of curiosity, but never did anything. Most of them were located out of state. She admitted that it was a sensual fantasy of hers, but that she would never act on it, and messaged them in a moment of weakness. I don't know what to do about this. Fast forward to now. I do not believe my wife speaks much with her old boss, but they speak occasionally. I discovered that my wife received an attractive photo from her former boss. It was sent to her while she was out of the country on a business trip. When I found it, I gave it a couple days and then confronted her. She claimed it was sent as a joke and they do not have a romantic relationship. Around the same time I discovered she was recording erotic photos and videos but never shared them with me. She claimed she was going to share them with me in the future but wanted to take them because she felt excited at that moment. I asked to see the messages but they had been deleted. I asked her why she didn't at least share that it had happened and she claimed that I would be upset. I agreed but it would have been better than how I felt now. I reiterated that her relationship was hurting me and her related choices made it clear that she valued her former boss over her marriage. It also validated the concerns I had voiced for years. She claimed to have changed that relationship so that her boss meant nothing, and she scolded him for sending the picture. I told her that most people would not carry on any communication if it was harming their marriage and was unnecessary. She asked me if I wanted her to block his number and then I told her she can make her own decision but I wanted transparency on whatever she decided to do. After thinking about the actions, I decided that her boss's wife has a right to know what he is doing, especially if unsolicited. I told my wife and she was very upset by the possibility of me sharing this info with his wife. I had a long talk with her and demanded to know what was going on. 
She gave me the same answers but I insisted to know the nature of their relationship. Eventually she agreed that the relationship was an emotional affair and that her boss recent communication is an attempt to rekindle that. But she has no interest and is committed to our marriage. In a weird way, hearing her admit that made me feel instantly better. I am not saying all is forgiven or that we don't have a lot to work on. But hearing those words calmed my heart. I knew our marriage was struggling but the second guessing my gut instinct was causing me to lose sleep, unable to work, and unable to trust much of anything. I now realize I can trust that feeling, regardless of what my wife is saying. I don't know where to go from here with my wife, but I am learning to trust myself. Anyone else have a similar experience? Update, thank you all for your comments. While some of your words have been harsh, I have a completely different perspective now from when I posted this 24 hours ago. I started with a pretty narrow reason to post and quickly found my words balloon far beyond my original intent. I needed to get the whole story out of my head. I am going to seek professional help to help me continue on a path that is best for me. OP, your spouse has a history of cheating, and it's likely to happen again. Don't deceive yourself into thinking it hasn't been physical with others. You are partly responsible for enabling her behavior by not taking action and setting boundaries. It's essential to divorce and move on from this terrible person. Find the affair partner's wife and seek legal counsel. Stay strong and best of luck. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you really like my videos then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.